guys and welcome back to my channel and to another five in five episode as you can read from the title this one is going to be about five reasons why i love melbourne i have been in canada over two years now but you know from australia as you can tell by my accent and i always talk about melbourne so i'm just gonna keep on bringing people those melbourne videos because some of you have asked for them so Without further ado, I'm gonna hit the timer and continue on. And five minutes is on the clock. Number five thing I love Melbourne would be the food and coffee. So even if you live in other cities of Australia, people just, I don't know, we're very snobbish about our coffee. Our reputation is to have the best food and coffee in Australia and you know, I think we have some of the best coffee in the world and I love that most people all around the world know that already. I don't know, I just love the variety of food and coffee that you can get in Melbourne, like the huge influx of uh, immigration that happened, I believe around the 50s and 60s, um, there was a huge surge of Mediterranean communities coming over to Melbourne. So huge Greek populations, Italian, um, like Croatian, Turkish, etc. They all came over and settled in Melbourne, creating this beautiful, diverse range of cuisine. And then in the 90s, there was another huge surge of immigration from the Asian communities. So we have some of the best Vietnamese, Indian, Chinese food, like Japanese. Oh, you can just get whatever you want or desire in Melbourne. Like you can pretty much just search it on Google and be able to get an amazing meal anywhere. Some of the best restaurants in the world are in Melbourne. And yeah, it's hard to find a bad coffee as well. So I have black coffee, so I know that it's good. I don't like put any milk in it. So you you could tell that, um, you could say that I'm an expert. Um, okay, number four thing I love about Melbourne would be the accessibility. So I just think whether it be if you're walking or going on a tram, train, bus, etc. The only thing is that we don't have a train from the airport, like the Tullamarine International Airport and domestic. There's no train or easy, real easy way to get to the Melbourne city area, but cast that aside, hopefully one day there will be a train, but the tram system is just so like cool and unique and I just love, like you can get the old school trams as well and like the little bell, I don't know, they're just so cute and it's all around like, kind of like the outer city suburbs as well. So if you get a tram from just say Flinders Street Station, you can go all the way to Carnegie, which is like a 20 to half an hour drive, like South East, I guess. I used to live there back in the day, but you can kind of get a tram to like Latrobe University. Like some tram routes are really, routes are really long. Yeah, they work the same as cars. So they just follow all the car rules. And then you've got the train network in the metropolitan Melbourne area is so good, but you can even get like the V-Line train out to Bendigo or Ballarat or even like up through to La Latrobe Valley, I believe, into Gippsland. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. Anyway, the accessibility is great. The tram is free in the CBD area of Melbourne, which is great. Um, and it's just a really easy like tap on, tap off system that most cities have, but I don't know. It's very accessible, very easy to get around and the city is gridded. So it's very easy to walk around and it's predominantly flat. I got a minute and a half left. I'm gonna have to speed through these. Okay, number three, close to beaches, mountains, parks, etc. etc. So there's lots of green area in the city, like the botanical gardens, as I mentioned in a previous video. And then you've got parklands, wetlands, like forests, there's like the Melbourne Zoo, there's the Maryland, like the Merry Trail, like kind of in Coburg area. Like you've just got a lot of greenery, like the Yarra River, there's trails all along that that's right in the city, but then you've just got, you know, a 20 minute tram ride to St Kilda Beach. You've got the beach, you can travel an hour to go to the Morning Peninsula, you can travel an hour the other way to go towards Geelong, go to Torquay, go to the Great Ocean Road. Like it's a very central area to get to all the different environments around Victoria because we have a very diverse state with lots of different, like whether it be mountains, bush, beach, whatever. Okay, I've got a minute. Number two, I believe I'm up to. The surrounding suburbs have different personalities. So you can go to South Yarra, which is more an affluent suburb. I feel like a lot of, you know, young professionals live there. There's like very luxe, high-end fashion areas and, you know, all like the Instagrammable like cafes and, you know, like bars and stuff where you go to South Yarra and go to some a bit more alternative and go to Brunswick, find like a great vegan food, lots of like, Op shop, what do you guys call op shops here? 
I don't know, I'll, I'll put it there. It's just like a charity shop. All of that. Oh, here we go, the timer. Anyway, there's just like a lot of different personalities in the surrounding suburbs. So yeah, you kind of know if you're going to Richmond, what you're going to get. If you're going to go to South Yarra, what you're going to get. If you want me to talk about this in detail in another video, let me know. Um, and lastly, number one would be the quality of life. I've known, I know I've gone a little bit over my five minutes, but I just get so excited talking about Melbourne. The quality of life, it just sort of encompasses like whether it be schools, hospitals, like healthcare, like the parks and beaches that I said, like the wage that we get in Victoria, I mean, all of Australia. The quality of life is just amazing. We're always rated in like the top 10, I guess, cities in the world for that. And it's just a great lifestyle. Like you work really hard, but you play really hard. We like enjoy our holidays and our time off, but Melbourne is a really like more easy going than Sydney, but you still like hustle there, if that makes any sense. But anyway, that is my five and five for things I love about Melbourne. I really hope you enjoyed this episode. Please hit subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.